Hi everybody, today is September 23rd and I am out in the garden and I'm checking out my broccoli that is all going to seed today. Um, I haven't had much time to get out to the garden in the last two or three days. I mean, I was out here, but I wasn't able to actually do anything. So um, while I have a lot of the little ends, there's also a lot of flowers here. So I probably could pick a little bit more. Broccoli ended up being really good this year. I'm really glad I stuck with it because I ended up getting a lot. So I have a whole bunch in my freezer now. There's still, like I said, there's still a little bit more. I could get here probably at least another bag or two out of here. Um, beans, I need to take the time to get some beans because I haven't done that in a couple days and there is a ton. I don't know if you can see them. Not so much on these plants, but you can see them over on the other plants. Um, I do have, oh, I missed it while I was down there. There are some cucumbers in here uh, in these powdery mildew cucumber plants. And we actually had rain all day yesterday. Which was nice we haven't had rain in like two months so that was really really good that we got all that rain um that cabbage there is all pretty much wrecked uh, there is such a big slug problem in here this one look at that beautiful beautiful uh, wonderful cauliflower i can't wait that is my very first head of cauliflower ever um, and it is big and i think i'm gonna pick it quick before it gets wrecked this one is here and it's doing good but it had a great big slug in it yesterday and i can almost see the line where it went through there and ate i'm not seeing that in this big one so i'm gonna get the big one out of here before that happens to it i do have some little heads of red cabbage look at it, it's like they're all it's getting cool now um it was very hot the last two weeks and now we're going to be down in the 60s and 70s so i'm hoping but that's really going to help these cabbages form heads and hopefully the slugs will stay away long enough for us to get a little bit of cabbage. I don't know if it's because those are so much higher up off the ground that they're doing so good. I'm not really sure. I hope that's the case. I also have a ton of kale. I have not found anyone to come and get any. So the poor kale plants, the deers will love them this winter. They will, they will take care of all of this. They'll take care of all the cabbage too that the, all any heads I leave, the deers will get them. Um, but there's a couple great big ones there, so I'm hoping I'm hoping they will make heads and we'll get some out of there. Um, I haven't checked any of this cauliflower, so maybe some of these will grow too. It's getting very dark out as clouds. Um, it's very dark, but here's at least three or four. Looks like they're going to be nice heads of red cabbage. So, so that's good. Maybe I'll even get another cauliflower or two. Um, these are the beans. I need to pick these before I go in. Look at all of these beans, 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 beans. They're all like too big because I should have picked them two days ago. So, um, so I got to pick some of those. It's getting pretty cold at night. It's down in the forties. So. I'm getting a little worried about that first frost coming up really fast. Tons of beautiful marigolds. I just wish they would have been around earlier this summer. Um, and then I have tomatoes that are, they're doing good, but then all of a sudden there's slug bites. I gotta get that tray of beer out or get some slug traps or something. Uh, but here, these are the Kellogg's tomatoes and they're finally changing color so I can pick them. And they're all changing colors really fast inside so i'm not worried about once i get them in them not changing like that happened to me the first year i was here um i brought the tomatoes in and it was months before they changed colors a lot of a lot of them would rot before i even before they even changed color so so this is nice i don't know what the difference is and why they're changing this year and they didn't that year um tons and tons of tomatillos here's all the green ones there's purple ones on this side but i'm thinking these green ones are really pretty and i see one down there that burst through the skin it's so big so that's exciting and there's still there's tons of flowers on these like tons 
And look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. You see all those in there? I don't know if there's stuff in them. Uh, they're pretty little. That one's little. But th these plants are just covered with these. I don't even know what to do with them. The only thing I keep hearing to do about them is make like a salsa with them. Salsa verde. So that might be what I'm doing with them, which I've never made before. So it's something that I'll need to figure out. Um, and then here are the, I realized that these are the Hungarian paste tomatoes. I thought that's what was over there. But it's definitely not. These are definitely the Hungarian paste over here. So, um, I don't know that I'm going to get any of those. I don't know if they're going to change colors. These are my brandy wines in here. I love brandy wines and look at how huge those are. Look at that. That one's huge. I'll probably give that one to my neighbor. Um, but there are, I'm definitely going to pick a couple of these before I go in. Like that one is a little pink on the side. So I will def I'll probably pick all three of those before I go in. Um, and then over here, I have no idea what these are. Um, I think. I saw some that kind of looked like Romas over here. This was the mix-up of tomatoes, so I don't really have any idea what these are. Um, zucchinis, I don't know how they grew so fast. All of a sudden, I have a couple great big ones. I mean, I guess I know zucchinis are known for growing that fast, uh, but I just picked all these yesterday, and I have no idea. Like this one. Okay, this one's maybe been two or three days. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's huge. And I just picked one off that plant. And that one's pretty big too. And then there's a lot of tomatoes on here. Now, even though these plants are diseased, um, these tomatoes still look good. I see a couple here I want, would like to grab off the plants before I go in. Uh, there's quite a few here. So um, I will get those off. Unfortunately, these were beautiful tomatoes and they did not survive this disease. Uh, more zucchinis in here. There's two in there. Those are nice and little. I should pick those maybe in the morning. Um, so this, this batch is not doing good. And it's not even necessarily the, the disease because look at how nice the top of these are. Um, it's, I, they split. So I don't know if it was just I was not watering them correctly. Um, it kind of kept getting really dry, so I think I was just giving them too much water. So those are really split a lot. Peppers over here. Um, there's a lot of peppers. Every pepper still has a hole in it. I still don't know what it is. Um, I did try to give it garden lime this year to see if that would help, but I'm still getting those holes. So I don't know. They've got to be bugs, I think. But I never find a bug. I've never found a single bug in them. So I don't know, I don't know what that is. Um, and there's just a lot of them. These little white ones, they are so, I don't know what to think of them. They're super buggy. I don't know if they're buggy. I mean, this whole plant was eaten by a tomato hornworm, but, or Tabasco hornworm maybe. Uh, but it's, the plant grew back okay. But they still, the leaves are getting eaten on them, still, still. Um, and it's like just these, so I don't know that I would grow these again. But I don't really know what they are either. I thought these were the diamond bells, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I don't, they're just not doing great. I mean, like every one of these, I don't know some of it since this is a new variety. For me, I don't know if some of these like brown colors are something wrong with the pepper or if that's just how they are. Um, so I don't know, I'm not sure. I mean, I could probably look into them a little bit more, but again, they all have a hole in them. Um, and then I have all these cayenne peppers here. I should pick them. Um, I don't really like hot peppers, so I'm not really sure what to do with these. My mom tried them and she said they're super, super hot. So I'm not really sure. Ugh, slugs on the ground. Ugh. Yuck. Oh. Um, marigolds. Marigolds are so funny. They get so big and so beautiful. And then all of a sudden, like, everything starts dying on them. But then they get all new buds and they 
get even bigger. So it's kind of neat. I really love these marigolds. I love watching them. I'm going to pick some of these um, and try and get seeds for next year. My seeds this year, I don't know if they didn't work. I didn't have real good luck with marigolds in the spring, so I'm not sure what exactly happened with those. Um, these were my vintage wine. They were volunteer plants that they were doing really good at the beginning of the year. Um, look at, look at these plants. This is so confusing to me. It's gonna frost here, probably within the next two weeks. And look at all these flowers on these. I know you're supposed to cut them off so that they can't grow, but there's really no point of, there's no point of doing that right now. Um, because the tomatoes are all eaten, so it's not like it would help them any or much anyways, enough that it's worth doing that. Um, these are the Gardener's Delights, cherry tomato, large cherry tomatoes, and they're doing, they did, I I picked a ton off. There's a ton still um, that fell over on the ground over there. And then these, these are the best cherry tomatoes. They're delicious. I keep eating them. I come out here and I just grab them by the handful. And then as I walk through the garden, I just kind of eat them. So um, they're delicious. And there is tons and tons and tons of them. And even though the plants aren't doing the greatest, the tomatoes are fantastic. Still new ones growing up there. Just really nice. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly what these are. These might be the sweetie tomatoes. That's what I grew last year and they were really great. So I'm thinking that might be what these are. But I also did some Isis. Is that what they're called? I think. And I might have done some super sweets. I'm not sure. I have to pull out my packets and take a look at them and then I'll know which ones I already did, which ones I did for this year. Um, so that's, I don't know what they are, but I am loving these. Like, love, love, love these. I mean, there's just so many. They're just, they're everywhere. Um, so I think that's pretty much the whole garden now. It's, there's still so much to pick here. Instead of just walking around, I should be picking stuff because now it's getting dark super early. Um, I'm just not having time to get everything done outside that I need to after work. So, it's a bummer. I got some big onions here. There's also some over by the broccoli too. And they're looking really good. They're just now starting to turn brown. So once they bend over, um, they crack in half a little bit there, then I'll get those. I'll pick some more, but pull those out. So pretty soon, a couple days maybe. But I guess that's it. It's very sad. I can't even believe that within the next two to three weeks, it's just all gonna be gone. It'll be a slow, it'll be a slow process and uh, just makes me so sad because I love the garden and yeah. So it'll be very sad, but, and then it'll be time to start getting ready for next year. I think once the frost comes, I am gonna pull a lot of this out this year. Last year was probably my mistake. I left a lot in over the winter. Um, so I had a couple beds that had a little bit of disease stuff on them. Okay, maybe it was, yeah, I, I don't know. It was not as bad as it was this year. And I just kind of, I pulled them all, but I left them in the beds. So duh, big mistake there. Uh, lesson learned. And I will be, so I will be uh, definitely, I think cleaning out the beds for winter instead of just leaving stuff. So that's my new, that's my new plan of attack for this year. Oh, hope she doesn't run over mango over there. All right, so I think that's it for now. Um, but have a great day. Um, I hope you're still getting stuff from your garden and it's not too cold where you are. I'm in zone 5A and 5B. Um, so not much longer before we're gonna have our first frost. So, all right, have a great night, bye.